Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan Lags, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this little car right here. Don't really know how to classify it. It's kind of just like a little Minecraft car, maybe a station wagon of sorts, but uh, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to build it, and we're going to get started in a few seconds, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, we're ready to start building the car now. So the materials you're going to need are some cyan wool blocks, some pressure plates, some stone pressure plates that is, spruce wood slabs, glass, black wool, item frames, detector rails, snow snow mats is what I call them, or snow caps, and wooden doors. So uh, we're going to build this again, like I said, right over here, and we're just going to go ahead and build a replicate version of it right over here. So we're going to get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and place down three blocks of cayenne, cyan, whatever you want to call it, cyan wool right here. And uh, basically, you just want to come down from each one of these sides, four, so four, and then fill it in. So now it should be a, uh, a four by three square of uh, cyan wool. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and go on the last the last block you placed and just line it with um, with glass blocks. And then right in front of that, you want to line that with spruce wood slabs, just like that. And then on the first one, you just want to line that with pressure plates. So that's how you do that. Next thing you want to do is, in the, in the gap where you didn't place anything, just go ahead and place black wool blocks on the sides. That's going to be the, um, um, the tires. And then on top of the uh, black wool blocks, you just go ahead and place some snow caps. On the sides of those, you just go ahead and place some item frames with a detector rail inside of it that kind of looks like the axle. Same thing on the other side. Just item frame, detector rail. So there you go. You got the front of the car done already. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and break the three blocks behind uh, the glass and the uh, cyan wool. And just go ahead and replace those with cyan wool. That's going to be the floor of the car. And next thing you want to do is go ahead and place two blocks of cyan wool on the front. Like that, so now there's like this T-shape that's remaining that hasn't been placed on. And then you just go ahead and place glass on top of those, like that. After that, you're going to go ahead and get out some wooden doors and just place them on the sides of the, uh, the sides of the, the cyan wool. So you can go ahead and open the door and walk into the car from either side, like that. And then next thing you want to do is go ahead and take some more cyan wool and just go ahead and line it along the back. And then take it up two blocks high. So now you have like this little area that you can walk on the inside of the car. One last thing with the uh, cyan wool is just go ahead and make another lining back here. So now that we got this like little shape right here that um, comes up behind the door. After that, we're going to go ahead and use the spruce wood slabs and go ahead and just place them on top of each one of these second glass blocks. Not these, but just the second ones. And then you go ahead and, oops, and then you go ahead and place it in the middle as well. And then just line it all the way back until you're leaking over the top of this one so there should be a space in between here just like that so that's looking good next thing we're going to do is add the back tires just go ahead and place them right behind the doors on each side and then the same thing you did for the front place the snow caps and then the item frames with the detector rails on it so that's all you have to do for that just like that there we go and uh, that's pretty much it for the uh like the I guess um, the outside of the car. So now we're just going to work on some technical things to make it look better. I'm going to get out, clear my inventory. I'm going to get out some torches, some more item frames, some iron bars. And that's what's going to allow me to do like the front of the car and make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and place a torch on each side. This is supposed to be like the headlights. And then an iron, or a, um, an item frame in the middle with an iron bar on it, which is like the little thing in the front. I don't really know how to, what that thing's called, but that's what that is. <laughs> and uh, in the back... We're going to go ahead and get some redstone torches out to uh, represent the brake lights. Just like that. And then in the middle, you can actually go ahead and place a, uh, a sign, which will be uh, representing the license plate. And you can put whatever you want on that. You can put some no fake numbers if you want. And then one last thing we do is just break the block in between here and place a glass block. That's the rear view mirror. So that's it, guys. We finished the car. Uh, pretty easy to build. Not too tough. And hopefully you guys like this design. Um... Vehicle designs are pretty fun to do, so uh, this, this was cool. But, uh, guys, leave me some feedback. Look, look, click that like button if you did enjoy this and if you like this car. And uh, that would be awesome, guys. So, again, it's been Dan Lanks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out. And, guys, one more thing I forgot to mention, actually. If you want to go ahead and get out the stuff you need for tires again, black wool, snow, item frames, 
and detector rails. What you can do is, if you don't like the uh, protruding tire design, which makes it just look a little bit better in my opinion, you can actually make the uh, tires inside of the wool like this. Just go ahead and oops, go ahead and bring it in one block if you want. Like you can totally do this. It's up to you. Again, uh, you and you can also make it whatever color you want. You don't have it doesn't have to be cyan wool. You can make it red wool or whatever whatever color you want. Doesn't really matter to me. And uh, I'll just show you what it looks like with the uh, tires like inside of the car, like uh, which which is probably a little bit more realistic, but it doesn't look quite as good. I'll just show you guys what it looks like, and you guys can decide what you want to do. So that's that, and I'll just go ahead and place that there. And there we go. So that's what it looks like. Um, you guys can decide what you guys want to do. Uh, again, I just wanted to show you this uh, real quick, just so you guys could. Uh, choose between the protruding tire design or this this design which is a little bit different a little bit more realistic but it doesn't quite look as good in my opinion so again guys you decide and it's been dan Lice. hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will be back later see you guys